Hi and happy Tuesday. I'm Daniel Bogdanoff and welcome to day seven of the Network Makeover. Today we're giving away five more swag bags and as you probably know by now, we also have a tech tip with Packet Boy, AKA Mike, who will look at threat intelligence gateways. First though, we'd like to thank FireEye for helping sponsor this event and today's giveaways. We've also talked a lot about maintaining control and visibility in public clouds during this event, but companies operating private clouds face some unique security challenges as well. Large government, finance and healthcare organizations may build private clouds, sometimes using third-party services as an alternative to public cloud. A secure private cloud lets organizations who can't connect their computing infrastructure to the internet get the best of both worlds, the flexibility and cost efficiency of cloud with the isolation and separation required for compliance. The challenge in all clouds, public, private, and hybrid, is that existing monitoring solutions and cloud providers may not provide all of the packet data needed by analysis solutions. FireEye and Ixia teamed up to create turnkey solutions for private cloud visibility. Check out the solution brief in the resource library to see how FireEye and Ixia enable highly secure, compliant private clouds and faster identification and resolution of threats. To learn more about FireEye, watch the video linked in this video's description. And now over to Mike, who's going to explore threat intelligence gateways. Hi folks. Today we're going to take a look at threat intelligence gateways. These are special purpose tools that are absolutely worth their weight in gold, so long as you use them right. Now, a threat intelligence gateway is both an inline tool, meaning it's in the critical path of network data, and a security tool, so it helps you defend against cyber attacks. It does this by correlating and analyzing threat data from multiple sources in real time. A good threat intelligence gateway will actually block any incoming or outgoing IP packets to known bad IP addresses. For instance, let's say you don't want any traffic coming in from or going out to certain parts of Eastern Europe, North Korea, or some other location. This device will actually block that traffic based on its IP address. Now, you might be saying, my firewall already does that. But does it really? A fundamental problem with today's cyber attacks is that they come from short-lived IP addresses. To avoid being caught, bad actors set up and tear down IP addresses on a frequent basis. So unless your firewall is automated to update itself every day or two with new blocked IP addresses, it really isn't helping all that much. What you really need is a device that updates multiple times a day to keep up with persistent cyber threats. And that's where a threat intelligence gateway truly shines. Once installed, you can block as much as 30 to 50% of bad traffic instantly. This is huge. Even with firewalls and a wide array of security tools in place, businesses still miss clues and suffer major breaches every single day. But why? Well, the truth is, it's a numbers game. SecOps teams bust their tails each and every day to prevent attacks, but the sheer volume of alerts puts a huge processing drain on them and their infrastructure. This can often lead to missed clues, wasted time and money, and an increased risk of falling victim to an attack. That's why it's so important to cut down on the overall number of threats. Blocking 30 to 50% of bad traffic doesn't just save you or in your tools lots of time. It reduces that dreaded alert fatigue at the same time. Now, it's important to note that threat intelligence gateways are not created equal. Attackers are always evolving and the number of known threats is constantly changing. That's why it's so critical to deploy a threat intelligence gateway with automatic system updates. Otherwise, you'll have to manually update the database of blacklisted IP addresses yourself which could take hours upon hours of configuration time and leave you vulnerable in between updates. The other big upshot of adding a threat intelligence gateway to your firewall is that it blocks outbound botnet communication from infected internal systems. For example, let's imagine an attacker got through before its IP address was blocked and managed to infect your systems. Bad news, right? Well, with a threat intelligence gateway installed, an automatic database update would later help you identify communication heading to the attacker's IP address. That way, if that malware is then launched on your system, the gateway would block all communication that's heading back to the host. Now, unfortunately, that's all the time I've got for today. But when it comes to threat intelligence gateways, I've merely shown you the tip of the iceberg. So for more example use cases, be sure to check out our Network Makeover content library. It's got a whole wealth of thought leadership and is curated by some of the smartest folks on our team. Thanks for updating us daily, Mike. You're kind of like our personal threat intelligence gateway during this event. Anyway, it's time to draw today's winners sponsored by FireEye. Today's winners are Ankit Kumar, Anthony Rodriguez, A-Rod, uh, Thomas Hartfield, Poyan Sai, and Miroslav Mach. Congratulations to our winners. We'll be in touch with you shortly. And 
That's all for today. I'm Daniel Bogdanoff. Thanks for watching, and I will see you right back here tomorrow. Thanks for updating us daily, Mike. You're kind of like our personal threat intelligence gateway during this event because you're intelligent and you're a threat and a gateway. I get. Let's 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 try that again.